What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, MCJ, back with another video on Power Automate. And today we are looking at a new, really powerful function called sort in uh, Power Automate's workflow expression language. Sort allows you to sort an array. Um, so you can sort numbers, you can um, sort objects inside a, a, a JSON array. Um, so you can you can sort these different things, uh, which makes for some really powerful um, powerful expressions and powerful ways to work. So let's take a look at it today, and we'll show you how it works. So in Power Automate, I have my manual trigger flow up here, and then I've got my trusty compose step here. Um, I can type in there, and I click in there, and then I can go to expressions, and I can type sort. <coughs> So I type sort, open parentheses, and it says, right, send me a collection of an array. Um, and I've also clicked thing here. Um, I do have the option to sort by if I want. It is not a required field though. Um, we can just send in an array. It's a bit weird that it doesn't have the question mark uh, that you would usually have with an optional, optional parameter. They just give you two different ways to write this function, which is a little bit strange. So uh, anyway, we will just sort it, um, sort it here. So. Uh, we need to pass in an array, so what we will do is we will create an array, create array, and then we'll just put some numbers in to start with. So we'll choose 25, uh, 2, uh, 3, um, 54, uh, 12, and then bonus ball is number 7. Uh, so we create an array and then we sort it. So what we'll do is it will sort them in, in from lowest to highest. Uh, I did previously cover a reverse in another video, um, if I've released these in the right order. Um, so reverse is a way for you to reverse this array, um, so it'll be like in, in descending order. So you could use sort and reverse to um, sort this into logical order and then reverse it to go the other way if you wanted to. So we'll try this, we'll hit save, all good. Uh, we'll test this out. So we'll test this from a previous run. It's nice and easy. Hit save and test. The flow around success, so it's great. And then we can see our, our array is now sorted in a logical order. So we can go 3, 7, 12, 25, 54. So again, if we wanted to, we could we could reverse this. Um, so if you did need these things in reverse order, uh, we'll type reverse in, open, open parentheses, and then we'll close them down at the end. Um, so this will then go from, instead of going from lowest to highest, it'll go from highest to lowest. So really cool way you can manipulate the data and manipulate your arrays to do things. So uh, 54, 25, 12, 7, 3. That's great. So we, we've we've been able to sort this and we've actually reversed the sort. So it'll go uh, one way and then we'll reverse it the other way. So really great, really powerful. Now, one thing you can also do is you can also um, take an array that may be made up of multiple objects. So uh, if you have a JSON array, for instance, and you have uh, an array of different objects, maybe you want to sort these um, alphabetically by something or, or something else. So we can we can do that as well. So we'll click back in, we'll go to expressions. Now, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Um, I'm going to copy and paste from my dashboard, from my clipboard. Um, because I um, I didn't want to write this whole this whole function out, but we'll go through it. So we'll copy this in. So uh, we'll just break it down to the easiest parts. So we're doing the sort. That's great. We're doing the create array. That's great. So we're going to create an array, and then we have three JSON objects here. So uh, we've opened um, we've opened the parentheses. We've we've passed in our string. So we've got. Um, um, our two key value pairs, Matt Collins Jones, first name, last name, uh, first name, last name, first name, last name. So we've got Fred Flintstone, we've got Peter Apple. And we're going to sort, so this is the optional parameter, the thing that you don't need to pass in, um, or just use a different combination of the, the formula for some reason. Uh, we're going to sort it by last. So it's basically going to say, right, okay, this is the array that we're passing in. We're going to pass in Collins Jones, Flintstone, and Apple, and I want you to sort this array by this last property. So instead of sorting it by first name, we're going to sort it by last name. So we'll hit save, it goes in there, hit test, and we'll test this out. And we can see um, it comes up with Peter Apple first, because A is, A is before C, then Collins Jones, because that was a C, and F for the Floodstone. And again, if we wanted to, we could choose the reverse on this as well. Um, alternately, if we want to choose, say, the first name, for instance, so last is the, so we put this in single quotation marks here because it's a string, 
If we want to do this by first name, we'll type first in here. So we'll choose this first property instead of the last property. And again, this will sort it by first name rather than sorting it by last name. Pose. So you see this time it's Fred Flintstone first, followed by Matt Collins Jones, me, followed by Peter Apple. So there we have it, that is sort. So we can sort these arrays, we can sort numbers into to lowest to highest. We can reverse it to do highest to lowest. We can also sort by key value pairs inside of the JSON array, uh, which again is really useful if you need to uh, do things in, in, in a certain order. So maybe from lowest to highest, maybe alphabetically something else. Now, these functions are really useful. Uh, I think they're really great. They're really powerful. It allows you to do loads of cool things in Parallel Automate, but what do you guys think? Um, have you used these yet? They are new functions that came in the last year. Um, what do you think? What are you using them for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like it and share it with a friend, that'd be really appreciated. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.